In this video, we'll be going over the IRS Interactive Tax Assistant tool that helps taxpayers determine whether or not they can exclude income earned in a foreign country. To use this tax tool, you simply need to know how much time you lived in or were present in a foreign country during the tax year in question. The IRS estimates that this tax tool takes about 10 minutes to complete, so let's go ahead and begin. This tax assistant covers up to three tax years, so we're going to select the most recent tax year available, which is 2023. So in the first section, the IRS defines foreign earned income before it asks you the question. So foreign earned income is usually pay or compensation, such as wages, salaries, or professional fees that you received for personal services performed in a foreign country. However, foreign earned income does not include things such as pensions, annuities, social security benefits, dividends, interest, capital gains, or alimony. Additionally, foreign earned income does not include wages paid by the U.S. government to its employees. Individuals paid by the U.S. government under a personal services contract, or a PSC, are considered employees of the U.S. government. Did you earn income for services performed in a foreign country? Before we answer this question, I wanted to take a moment to highlight this blue uh, term, the uh, foreign country, simply because you can click on any of these uh, blue highlighted fields and it will open an additional uh, page that helps you understand the IRS definition of that term. So in this case, a foreign country includes any territory under the sovereignty of a government besides the United States. This also includes the country's airspace and territorial waters, but not international waters and the airspace above them. The term foreign country also does not include Antarctica. It does not include U.S. territories, uninhabited insular areas, and areas operating under a compact of free association. You can find more information in IRS Publication 54, which is the tax guide for U.S. citizens and resident aliens abroad. So let's select yes. Have you previously taken the foreign earned income exclusion? Let's imagine that we did previously take it. The next question is, have you revoked the foreign earned income exclusion within the past five years? Have you received IRS approval to choose the foreign earned income exclusion again? Let's just say no. Were you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Did you establish residence in a foreign country? Yes. So it does not it says that you do not automatically acquire bona fide status merely by living in a foreign country for one year. If you go to a foreign country for a particular job for a specified period of time, you ordinarily will not be regarded as a bona fide resident of that country, even if you work there for a year or more. However, you may meet the you may qualify for the exclusion if you meet the physical presence test. So did you live in a foreign country or countries for an uninterrupted period that includes an entire tax year? Let's just say we did. Do you expect to reside in a foreign country for a period that includes an entire tax year, like the foreseeable future? So in this case, you're not eligible to take the foreign earned income exclusion if you revoked a choice in the past and choose to, uh, if you want to choose the same exclusion within five tax years, you have to apply for IRS approval. You can mail a request for ruling from the uh, Associate Chief Counsel of the IRS at the following address. Uh, you 
uh, may also need to pay a fee uh, that the IRS will charge for issuing rulings, and uh, and you may need a tax professional to help you with this request. So uh, let's go back and choose a little uh, a more, I guess, straightforward uh, status. So let's just say you already received the approval. So now it's going to ask you a different uh, list of questions. Is your main, ta main place of business, employment, or post of duty in a foreign country? Let's say yes. Have you filed your ta tax return for 2023? Not yet. Will you file a return by the due date to include any extensions? And remember, if you live overseas, you automatically have an extension uh, if you need it. Were you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Did you establish residence in a foreign country? Yes. Let's just say the rest of these questions are the same as before. Did you inform the authorities of that foreign country that you're not a resident? Yes. Have they decided that you are subject to their income tax laws as a resident? So what did you have an abode, which could be a legal residence, a home, habitation, domicile, or a place of dwelling? Uh, so your location, your abode uh, depends generally on where you maintain your family ties, personal ties, or economic ties. You do not have a tax home in a foreign country for any, any period for which your abode is within the United States unless you happen to be in a combat zone support, in support of the armed forces of the United States. And your tax home is generally where you do your regular, uh, it's your regular or principal place of business. So we'll say no. Uh, do you ha expect to have an abode within the United States? We'll say no to that question too. Were you supporting, were you serving in support of the armed forces in a combat zone? No. So physical presence test. There are four rules uh, to determine the 12 month period. Your 12 month period can begin with any day of the month, but it has to end before the same calendar day 12 months later. It has to be consecutive months. Any 12 month period can be used if the required 330 full days in a foreign country fall within that period. Rule three is you don't have to begin your 12 month period with your first full day in a foreign country or end it when you leave. You can choose the 12 month period that gives you the greatest amount of exclusion. And, and finally, in determining whether the 12 month period falls within a longer stay of the country, 12 month periods can overlap each other. So let's just say, out of, uh, with an understanding of these four rules, we do uh, believe we meet the presence test. So now it's going to ask if you expect to be physically cr present. So are, do you expect to meet the physical presence test at, in the next 12 months? The abode in the United States during the 12 months, was your abode in the United States at any time during the past 330 days or 330 days of this past year. Physical presence test. Your tax home must be in a foreign country or countries. In general, your tax home is your regular or principal place of business, your abode Let's just say no. So are you a government employee or not? No. Did you perform these services in Cuba? No. So in this case, you are eligible to take the foreign earned income exclusion. You would complete and attach IRS form 2555 foreign earned income to your tax return. Let's go back and do one more. And I would like to start at the very beginning. So let's 
Let's say that you earned income for services performed. You have not taken the foreign earned income, so you have not revoked it. Your main place of business is in a foreign country. You have not filed your tax return, but you will. You are a U.S. citizen. You did re establish residence in a foreign country. You do expect to reside for an uninterrupted period. You did inform the authorities. They have not decided you're subject to their income tax laws. You did not maintain an abode in the United States, nor were you in the armed forces. So all of these answers are the same. So in this case, you're still el eligible. Let's see if you are, if this would change if you were a US government employee. So in this case, if you're a government employee, you're not eligible to take the foreign earned income exclusion. So all of this is a walkthrough to help you determine uh, what, whether or not you can file IRS Form 2555 to claim that foreign earned income exclusion. Uh, if you want more detailed information or if your tax situation warrants additional detail, you can also find guidance in Publication 54, which is the tax guide for U.S. citizens and resident aliens abroad. That's all we have in this video. Uh, we'll put links to the actual tax tool in the show notes, as well as a link to the article we've created on IRS Form 2555 that walks you through the foreign earned income exclusion. So if you like our articles uh, on our website, please subscribe to our newsletter. And if you like our YouTube uh, videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or if you would like us to include an additional, if there's a topic that you'd like us to discuss in the future, uh, please hit me up in the show notes and, uh, and we'll do our best to cover, cover that topic. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.